Taurus, welcome back to my channel. So let's jump into your messages and see what the universe wants you to know. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe and click that notification bell so that when I upload readings, you guys will be notified. All right, so we're going to get two cards from this deck, two cards from this deck, two from this deck, and then we're going to get some tarot and see what the universe wants you to know for this quick energy check and reading. All right. Give me two for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Two for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. All right. Give me two for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What does Taurus need to know? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Oh, okay. Give me two cards for Taurus, Universe. Give me two cards for Taurus for the Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Taurus, Taurus. All right, Taurus. So let's see. All right. So these are angel number oracle cards, and you have 888 and 333. So 888 is about karma. A lot of money is coming your way. Fortune refers to more than just monetary and material success. If you don't appreciate the people in your life now, you won't have them tomorrow. This message encourages you to take personal responsibility and use it to realize your greatest potential. It says balance, finances, success, wealth, cycles. What goes around comes around. I want to read that again because it says something about if you don't appreciate the people in your life right now. I'm a Taurus. Um, I'm on a cusp. So I'm Taurus Gemini Cusper here. And I don't get this. I mean, I sort of get it, but I then again, I don't because what the heck does people have to do with this? But I guess if people, you know, the only way that I can sort of see this here with this karma is the universe is saying, a lot of money is coming your way. Fortune refers to more than just monetary and material success. So not only should you appreciate what you have now and that the universe will give you more, but appreciate the people in your life because they're not going to be around forever. Like, you know, um, you know how sometimes when some something happens to someone and you'd be like, oh, I should have appreciated them. They were here. They were trying to help me out. You know, they were always there for me and now I don't have this person anymore. So the universe is saying, don't let this karma come back around to you in ways where you don't e don't appreciate someone or don't appreciate what you have in your life right now. So just make sure you're being very appreciative and very grateful for the people in your life and the success that you have in your life thus far. Even if you may feel like, you know, you're not where you want to be, Taurus. The universe is saying, just appreciate what you have and more will come. Okay. Um, we also have 333, growth, creativity, joy, visions, and talents. Seeing the angel number 333 is a sign that it's time to focus inward. Work on your skills, discover your talents, and use your imagination. Unleash your inner artist. Doing so will boost your self-esteem and sense of competence. It does wonders for your sense of purpose and contributes to your community. All right, so you also have fling and separation. They don't want a relationship right now and are happy keeping it casual. And we have separation. There will be time apart between you and your partner. So either you broke up with this person already or you sort of see something coming where you're like, oh, no, I'm not going to keep dealing with this because I know that they don't want anything serious right now. So some of you may be thinking about letting someone go or you already let this person go. Now, we also have your silence is killing me. Say something, anything to show me you still care. And I can't seem to do right by you. It's never good enough for you. I don't know what else to do. Now, when I was doing your pre-shuffle Taurus, I was picking up the energy that someone feels like you're being stubborn because you can't have things your way. Now, it just, just because they're feeling like that doesn't mean that's how it is. But I was picking that up a lot in, um, in the pre-shuffle. All right, so let's get some tarot here. 
And let's see what else you need to know. What messages do you have for Taurus? What does Taurus need to know? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What does Taurus need to know? All right, so we have the Seven of Cups and the Eight of Wands. I feel like someone is asking themselves, should they text you? Should they reach out to you? Should they talk to you? And once they do decide to do this, I feel like messages are going to start flowing through. Things are, information is going to start coming in quickly. You know how like you wait for somebody to text you, right? And you have a lot that you need to say to this person, but you've been holding it in and suppressing it. Well, I feel like someone is going to text you. And once that text message come out, whether it's so uh, what you're doing, how you're doing, how you're doing, I miss you, whatever it is. I feel like there's going to be a lot of messages going back and forth between you and this person. And you're going to be able to express what you've been feeling and going through since you guys haven't been talking. All right, what messages do you have for Taurus? Yeah, the Knight of Cups. Somebody feels like they owe you an apology, Taurus. Could be a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio. The Ten of Wands. Someone feels this burden a lot. You may not think that they do. But I feel like they're weighing, um, like it's weighing heavy on them, but they're not saying much of anything about it. Maybe they're trying to make you think that they don't care. Well, that card just flipped right out of the deck. Um, the Two of Cups reverse. You feel like things are not equal. You're like, okay, do I love you more than you love me? And if so, that's not going to continue to go that way. Some of you feel like you put more energy and effort and love into the connection than your person does and you're tired of feeling this way what messages do you have for Taurus? the king of swords maybe you're dealing with an air sign could be a gemini libra or an aquarius i don't know why i'm picking up gemini for some of you and with the page of swords i feel like this person is watching you heavy on the gemini and libra um but somebody is watching you they're watching everything that you do whether they're watching you physically or if they're just you know whether they're stopping past your house or riding past your house or whatever or it could be like online also um it's been times where the page of swords comes out and this person could just be going through old text messages that you've sent them just rereading things thinking about you a lot looking at pictures you know maybe going through your social media looking at your pictures or looking at old posts that you put up and things, you know, that was looking at, you know, um, comments on there to see like who commented. I just feel like you're being watched right now. Some of you may know it or you may feel it and others of you, I just don't feel like you do. You don't know. But this person has their eye on you. What messages do you have for Taurus? Yeah, this person knows that they hurt you, Taurus. We have the Three of Swords, the Tower, and the Five of Wands. So you were fighting with someone who wants to reconcile with you. The Six of Cups was right behind all of this. We have Aries energy here. Also, I'm picking up the energy that this person is talking about you to other people. Like other people may know your business or there's a lot of people involved in this situation. That, uh, that you're going through with your person. This could be family. There could be family members getting in the middle of what's happening between the two of you or they, they're having something to say. And it's causing this tower moment between the two of you to be you know blown out of proportion because everyone got something to say instead of minding their business. What messages do you have for Taurus? Mm -hmm. There you are right there, Taurus. So some of you may be leaving this person out in the cold and you're like, I don't care. And it could be happening because you feel like things are not going in the right direction and you're tired of waiting for that to happen. This could be with a cancer for some of you. Yeah, but somebody feels like you're leaving them out in the cold because you're wanting to be stubborn. You're not speaking up. You're not talking because you're wanting things to be your way. But maybe you're tired of things being this person's way because it's not the right way. 
messages do you have for Taurus? Okay, so some of you are tired of waiting on someone and you feel like this person's being secretive. We have Pisces energy here strong with the hangman and the moon. So some of you are definitely dealing with the Pisces, but you may be looking at the situation. You know what? This Ace of Cups keeps coming out. I, this is like the fourth time I saw this doing the shuffle. So I'm just going to go ahead and talk about it. Um, some of you feel like you'd be better off without this person with the Nine of Pentacles. You feel like, okay, if I'm going to do this and be treated this way, I'm going to go at it alone because I don't need to be treated like shit and then still be trying to make things work with someone. That's how you're seeing the situation. With this Ace of Cups, I do see um, either new love coming in for you or someone coming back around to make things right. But with the Ace of the Ace of Swords reverse, whenever you have aces, they're always new beginnings. But if the Ace of Swords, Cups, um, Pentacles or whatever is in the reverse, then there's some sort of doubt or um it's, it's like a lingering of something not coming through when you want it to. So I feel like this Ace of Swords reverse represents someone taking their time, coming towards you, wanting a new beginning, wanting to start things over. But they're not sure if you want the same thing or maybe this is you, Taurus, with this Ace of Swords reverse where you're like, I can't get like if you don't have clarity as to where things are going you don't want it so this is about not being clear you know you feel like this person you know they fails to they fail to make something clear like I don't know if it's some of you want to know where you stand what you guys have together what you mean to them you're like I don't know so I don't want to keep giving love to this person because the nine of wands is about being guarded not only are you being guarded, but it's the wounded warrior. So you've been hurt several times by whoever this is. And you're protecting yourself. You're like, I need to protect myself. Yeah, you still love this person. But you're like, I can't let you get too close to me. Because the last time I let you get close to me and I believed in what you told me, you disappointed me. And so, yeah, I see something working out with the Ace of Cups. But then I feel like you're still questioning it. So either this is new love that's coming in and you don't see it and it's right behind you because you're you know wondering if you can make something work with this other person or this is someone that you're already with that's going to try to fix things with you but you're not sure if this can work out anymore i feel like some of you are ready to give up it there's times where you're ready to give up taurus and then other times when you're not because the five of cups is about sadness, loss, and disappoint disappointment. So it's like you, you're you like, I'm tired of dealing with people. I'm tired of be, getting in relationships and meeting people and, and dealing with them and then going through the same thing. So I see you right here guarding yourself. There is something coming in for you with this Ace of Cups. But you're like, I don't know. I don't know if I want to sit by myself and do this by myself with the Nine of Pentacles here. Because you're like, I can. I don't, I don't know if I need to... Be with anyone right now so i feel like this is something that you're going to be thinking about while there's a lot happening around you because i feel like your person is wanting to come out of this silence okay whatever this silence is i mean not whatever this silence is whatever this is that you guys are going through that's causing you guys to be in silence your person want to come out of it they feel like they can't seem to do right in your eyes but i feel like for, for some of you this is just this person not wanting to take accountability for their actions so those are the messages that i have for your reading thank you for watching my channel and i will see you guys in the next video bye